Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name is Joe. Today I'm going to be playing Castle Itter, the strangest battle of World War II. This was uh, produced by Dan Versen Games, created by David Thompson, or rather designed by David Thompson with art by Matt White. This is actually the uh, digital version played on PC and the development was done by Jeremy Zercher. And so if you're unfamiliar with this game, uh, just like Pavlov's House, this was um, a board game that was kind of converted into a digital format so you can play it on the computer, which is how I'm playing it. And um, the board game is available from DVG and uh, it's part of the Valiant Defense series, which was created by David Thompson and has, I believe, four games in it. Uh, Pavlov's House, which I did a video on earlier and is available in my library. Um, Castle Itter, this is the second game. The uh, third game is Postmen in Soldiers Uniforms. Or Soldiers in Postmen <laughs> Uniforms. Oops, sorry about that, I screwed that one up. And the fourth game is Lanzareth Ridge, which I believe is coming out later this year. So I'm going to get started here and click Start Game. I'm going to play in the beginner mode just to kind of keep things relatively simple. Also because this game is difficult enough as it is without making it even more difficult. So I'll hit beginner. So just like in Pavlov's house, if you uh, are familiar with that game or watched my video on that game, basically we have a castle here that we are defending. In Pavlov's house, it was an apartment building in Stalingrad. This is a castle in Austria and it is May of 1945. And the reason this is called the strangest battle of World War II is that you had Americans and German Wehrmacht troops kind of defending this castle against some SS attackers. So you had Germans fighting Germans and to some extent um, alongside Americans. And uh, there were some French prisoners in the cellar. They're actually visible here in this box. So basically the way this game works, and this is true of the, of the other Valiant Defense games as well, is you have several vectors of attack, some paths essentially numbered, from 2 to 12 so basically you roll a two-sided dice on the board game and it will determine where the you know what path the uh, attackers come in on and so you have 12 different paths that you need to defend and there are these dots represent positions and as they get closer it becomes a little bit more precarious and if any of them reach the end of the path and that position so say seven gets pulled one you know, one, two, three, four, five, the sixth one is going to push it into the castle, you lose the game. So basically you're trying to hold out until the end um, and kill enough of the German units that um, you, can, you can achieve victory while not losing all your own men. The attackers will uh, get things like mortars and machine guns and there are three different levels of troops. They have scouts, uh, storm, and riflemen, uh, the riflemen are the lowest. These, that's this, this three. So if we look at the, uh, oh, I can't do that yet. So if I look at the settings here, you can see the counters. Okay, here are the counters for the game. So you have an attack value and a suppress value. These are the friendly counters, right? The defender counter. The attack value, that's simply how many die you roll, or dice you roll rather. So you would roll one die if it was a one, two if it's a two. Uh, suppress value is um, for suppression. So suppre the way suppression works is you can apply suppression to an area. So th there's there they are colored areas. We have purple here, you have gray over here. There's also red, green, and uh, kind of a tannish yellow color. You apply suppressions to the area. And then any new units that appear, attackers that appear in that area, you can, you can shoot at them with your suppression values. Um, special actions and attributes. Uh, the name of the unit, obviously, this one is an American, of course. You can tell by the, the white star. Then down here we have the attackers. So this would be an SS counter, and this is the machine gun that I was talking about. This is one of the kind of special uh, units. They have a disruption value and a defense value. So this is the number you would have to roll to um, kill it, basically. So this you'd have basically a 50-50 chance because it's a six-sided die. One, two, three would fail four five six would succeed in killing this unit um, the disrupt value most of the, the the regular units will only have the defense value 
but the disrupt value is applied for these units like mortars and machine guns and that's the value that they they use um, it's the number of dice thrown when trying to disrupt one of the defenders um, so here you have uh, the defenders they can be activated commanded inspired or disrupted and exhausted um, we'll see that as we go through the game um, you have various actions so your commanders you have like Schrader he's a German the C is a command action which allows you to give three free recover actions they just need to be in the same area um, there are various areas on the ca up the castle and the castle grounds uh, the T means it's a tank attribute so uh, we do have one tank the Basat and Jer Jenny that we can use to to fight with a uh, it has a Browning and it has a uh, M1919 machine gun as well as the main gun on the tank then you have um, some of the French you have an escape action so they can escape from he can escape from any location other than the cellar or the Great Hall he has to um, go down a path that is clear from any German counter and if he does um, the infantry card which triggers an instant victory is added at the end of the SS card deck so that gives you a chance to actually win the game early the sooner he escapes the sooner you may draw or might draw that victory card I on Clemenceau is an ins inspire attribute and when not exhausted they provide all defenders within the same location with a non-cumulative plus one dice to each attack or suppress roll so that is good to have S uh, Gongol is the only one that has S he can sacrifice himself to save a French casualty so he could save Clemenceau or Barotra um, then you have the Germans they have um, well this is a German the M is a low morale they will leave if any defender with the, within the same location becomes a casualty. The O is an officer who prevents the low morale. So basically, if you want to, if you can stack the O with the M, they kind of this will cancel out this one. And then if they if they die, they won't run off unless the officer dies. Um, and then you have R, which is a reinforcement that comes later in the game when a reinforcement card is drawn. So that's kind of the basics, and I'll just get into the game. So the first few turns, you're just placing your men. So um, typically what I do is I'll just start with the with the tank, and I'll take my commander, and I'll place him here. Then he has actions. This is load. So I'm going to load the main gun. Then I'll take Rushford, and I'll put him here. Now he can fire the main gun. He can also just fire his his regular attack, which is what I'm going to do. And then you can see you have odds. So these are the four positions because he's in a gray position in the tank. They're outside the gatehouse. You can hit any of these four units here. So we'll say this one. He rolled a two, which is lower than a three, so he did not kill the enemy. We can take Siner, put him in here. We can do the same thing with him. Now he will attack with the, um, with the Browning. So he gets two die and gives him an 88 chance of killing him and he did and then uh, I won't put sim check in yet but I'll take Schrader and I'm gonna put Schrader in the um, in the south terrace here and I'm not going to actually use him to fire this way he will be available to uh, place three more guys in here and they will fire but then he'll have the ability to um, Resur not resurrect, but recover them from being exhausted. Now Lee, he um, he's another commander, but can also be in the tank. So I will put him. Uh, he, uh, where am I going to put him? I will put him in the red area, and we will let him shoot at this guy right here. So it kills him. Now we did five actions, that ends the turn. So the Germans get to go. They draw three cards. Now when they draw a card like this, they're placing a machine gunner. Um, entry five, so he's gonna show up right here. That'll push this guy down. Actually it doesn't, the, the, the special units don't push the guy down, but you'll see if we get another. So here, this guy is a scout. So he will push, um, he's gonna show up on eight and he's gonna push this guy to this spot. Just like that and that was a one of two so now we get a second guy who's going to show up at number 10 which is down here and he's also going to push the rifleman forward okay and this is their third and final this is a mortar it's going to show up at five which is over here 
So now they've got two extra extra units here. So now we go to turn two. Now I have Pollock, who has an attack value of two and a suppress value of three. So I'm actually going to put him here. I'm going to let him shoot, and we will try to take out. Uh, we'll try to take out that mortar, and we missed. So that's a bummer. Um, let's put Sutton. We'll put Sutton here, and let him shoot at this rifleman. And then we'll take. Uh, Take Black Schmidt, put him, put him here, and he can shoot at red, so or green, because he's in a a spot with two colors, so he has two potential areas he can shoot at. So we'll just let him shoot at this guy. Okay. Now since he's an O, I can put an M in here with him. Put this guy here and let him shoot, and now he can shoot. We'll try and get this guy since he's further down the path and we missed. Okay, now um, we have Gangol, and I'm going to put him in the Great Hall uh, on the purple. Let him take a shot at this guy up here, or the, I'll go for this rifleman and miss. So we didn't do well on that turn at all. So they, they're attacking the keep. So basically when this gets down below four you end up you lose your cover essentially and your your men are very susceptible to uh to taking damage so they're putting new men in again so the gray is starting to fill up here and we get a five so that that area is also looking kind of powerful here and a nine so again yeah this is becoming a problem over here right so Let's take uh, Dietrich and we'll put him here. And we'll have him fire on this guy and kill him. Now, since he's an officer, I'm going to put a low morale guy with him. And we'll let him shoot at this guy and this. So I have three more low morale and one more officer. And I have an officer here and an officer here. So I also have a third officer. I'll put this third officer in purple. And let him shoot this guy. Okay. Now um, I have two actions left. Let me put let me put another tanker in. So we'll put Simchek here. And let him shoot at. Um, well, all these guys are fours, I guess. So they're all scouts, and he missed. So that's not good. Okay, last move. Let's take uh, what we have left. Yeah, I don't have any officers left to place, so we actually do not have enough um, commanders to put pl people in all the spots where you're going to need them. Let's take this guy. Oh, that's not, that's a gray spot. So I put him in the wrong spot, um, which was bad. I should have put him here, and then he would have been able to take a, take that guy on. So now he gets pushed up even further. And it looks like this area is going to be a problem for me. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a problem for me. did not work all right so let's put him here miss man it's brutal when you miss I gotta tell you oh and I don't have any other shots I can make at that one so um hmm this is tough, man. So I'll put him here and take a shot. I guess it, well, we want this guy. All right, two more. This will wrap it up for placing our men here. Oh, that's not who I wanted to put there. I put the wrong one. I forgot to switch him. So now I have a man here that I don't want there. I want 
wanted him he, him there. Because he's an M, he doesn't have an O with him, so if any of these guys die, he's going to run off. Which is not what I wanted. I wanted to put him uh, here, probably. Or here. Ugh, okay. Okay, so we move on. They're making an attack on the keep. They hit it, so now it's down to a four. So that's bad. Now 11. It's gonna push him up, and they get another card. And it's a three. It'll push him up, and we continue for the second entry, and it's an 11. So, okay. French prisoners can now move out of the cellar. All right, so let's take, um, Okay, so now I need to start recovering guys here so that I can have them do things. This is a command and I'm recovering these three units so that they can attack on the next turn. So I have one more move left. And um, all right, so this is a little dangerous here. Sniper one attack and he killed Lee. So that's great. to push on that area. Kills you to roll low. Oh, I can't shoot there. Uh, it's really brutal when you roll low, let me tell you. fire where they can disrupt multiple players at once and they're real close if they pull a seven again then they're gonna win my man there. He didn't hit the tank. One and down. Oh man. This is they're they're just doing me in here.
see here. Okay. As you can see, the main goal here is to just kind of, um, it's almost like whack-a-mole in a way. Try and, try and keep the, uh, the guys who are getting close, try and do something about them. Um, this, this area is a problem. They keep, they keep drawing attackers for that area. They've killed two of my commanders, so I can't recover people, uh, multiple people at once. That's, you know, a problem. hurts when you don't kill them because you almost need to roll a kill every time or you're going to be in big trouble. Um, the tank is holding on so that's you know that's helpful. Let's see if we can't take care of some of these. Um, they're all threes. Let's try this guy. All right. Okay, so that helped out a lot. And we have one left. Uh, and the tank just took a shot. We got a new unit in eight. We get one in four. Purple. Casualty. So we lost we lost two units there. And we had this guy get disrupted as well. So things are looking pretty grim here, to be honest. I don't know that we're gonna do much. Um, yeah, that sucked. Alright. Move Clemenceau up to here. Hmm. Um, this is yeah. This is pretty grim. Oof. worked out okay <laughs> in a way um, oh my all right so I'm about to lose my tank as well
His gun. Boom. Yeah, so as you can see, <laughs> this has gotten really ugly really fast. Um, okay. I can do here. I'm down to. Oh, I do have. I guess I can recover one of these guys. Yep. helpful. Yeah, that was a that was kind of a Hail Mary. Awesome. They 
That's it. We lose. Yeah, when I started having KIAs all over the place and missing and yeah, things went things went bad very quickly. So there you have it. That is gonna do it, and um, not a particularly good game for me. So for now, I will sign off. This is Hexed Encountered. My name is Joe. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until next time, happy gaming. <laughs>